Hey guys, it's General Heed here, uh, and today, another popular request by you guys, uh, since one of our recent videos, is uh, to take a look at Emil's death from another angle. In other words, look at it from uh, behind the scenes, and see uh, basically how it unfolds and like, what's actually going on there. Because um, a lot of you have been pointing out that like a lot of Halo Reach cutscenes, the angles, you know, they don't show enough. And that's true, they're meant to be kind of like ambiguous sometimes, or, you know... They don't want to show too much, but you know, let's take a look at what's actually going on. So let's get this cutscene uh, set up really quickly. So this is basically using that same old mod I've been using a lot recently, where um, I can uh, fly around the cutscene in theater mode and watch it as it unfolds, and you know, view things from different angles. As you saw in my uh, video about whether the Arbiter was on Halo Reach and whether Noble Six is still alive, I used that to um, kind of inspect that cutscene at a much closer, uh, much better angle, and of course that also allowed us to see what was under Noble Six's helmet, which we should know by now is nothing. He's a headless Spartan without his helmet on. So anyways, uh, let's take a look at this cutscene. So, as you can see, and you probably saw it in some of my other videos, but it's pretty common in a lot of Halo cutscenes, uh, as the scene progresses, whenever things aren't in view of the camera, they are, they're pretty much despawned. Just like this uh, Mac cannon there, just gone. Uh, and that's basically to save resources uh, for the game. Because, you know, if, if it's not there, you don't really need it to be there. And everything is scripted in the cutscene, uh, if you didn't know. Uh, you know, it looks like the Pelican's actually falling because it got blown up, but that's all scripted. It's all puppeted, uh, if, for lack of a better word. Uh, and here, we finally got to uh, Emil's death. So let's see how it starts. So here's Emil, sitting in a pretty odd position actually. He's got a shotgun writing everything, but he's actually still controlling the Mac cannon, turning it around and stuff. So here the two elites jump down. Kind of like Spider-Man actually with this one. And Emil is just kind of casually sitting there and not moving, it just kind of like auto fires a shotgun, sort of, at that elite. And then he climbs out. And we can play this in slow motion too, so you can kind of see exactly what's happening up close. So here, this is where Emil follows her second shot at that elite. And the elite behind him, as you can see, he's like in that weird pose again, like in my Arbiter video about Nova 6. He kind of slides down the Mac cannon, and here's the part that we all dread the most. This is Emil getting stabbed by the Elite once again. So as you can see in this part, there's nothing out of the ordinary, behind the scenes at least. Now a lot of you have asked me, how do their bodies end up on the ground in that position? Well, I have no idea actually, because... In the cutscene when his body falls off, it actually lands here on the uh, Mac cannon. And that original first elite, I don't know where his body goes, just kind of disappears. Ultimately, they all disappear because the cutscene continues. And as I said earlier, things that aren't shown in the cutscene that are off camera usually despawned. Puppeted objects, at least. And, yeah, so that's basically it. That's Emil's death behind the scenes. And after that, his body is, you know, spawned at that position that um, we find him in later. So I'm just going to uh, play that cutscene again, this time without slowing it down or any commentaries, so you guys can watch Good it all Good to see you, the Spartan. Halsey uh, assured enjoy. me I could count on you. Not just me, sir. They'll be remembered. Cruiser, adjusting heading for the autumn. Noble 4, I need fire on that cruiser or we're not getting out of here. Do you copy? Do I have your window, sir? Bridge, this is the captain. We have the package. Returning to the autumn, over. Copy that. Who's next? Duh!
I'm ready. How about you? Oh. Oh. Lieutenant, get aboard! We gotta get the hell out of here! Negative. I have the gun. Good luck, sir. Good luck to you, Spartan. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, uh, and there's definitely more to come, so if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, and uh, leave your suggestions in the comments, and which character you want to see next behind the scenes, or any other specific cutscenes that you want to see behind the scenes. It doesn't have to be Halo 3, it could be other Halo games. So, you know, just let me know, and uh, I'll try to get to it. So, yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, I just wanted to mention that this video was brought to you in part by Raid Max Dracon Gaming Chairs. They sent me one recently, and it's it's pretty awesome. Like I've never had one before; it's my first one, and I like it a lot. You know, I wish I got it sooner, actually. But yeah, you know, you should guys should uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'll put the the link to the to their website in the description below in this video. So uh, just you know, check it out, and yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time.